Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer Selenium interview question 88, that is provide an example of scenario outline in Cucumber framework or Cucumber projects. So let me answer. So I have to provide an example of a scenario outline using a scenario outline in Cucumber framework or Cucumber projects, guys. It's very simple, guys, it's a very simple question. I can practically show you uh, a example of a scenario using a scenario outline in Cucumber framework or Cucumber projects. So quickly I'll switch to this Eclipse IDE where I have this uh, framework, okay? That is Cucumber framework or Cucumber project, whatever you want to call. So inside this framework, okay, here I created some sample feature files. In one of these feature file, we have the scenario outline mentioned, okay? So let's say if I go to this login.feature file, the first scenario has a scenario outline. Okay, this is a perfect example you can say for a scenario outline, guys. So scenario outline is generally used to uh, implement data-driven testing. Okay, if you want to automate the data-driven tests in Cucumber projects, then we have to use this keyword from Gherkin language known as scenario outline in Cucumber projects. And along with the scenario outline, uh, there, there is one more keyword which accompanies this keyword known as examples keyword under which will provide multiple sets of data. That means the same scenario will be executed the number of times the test data is provided here. That means here three sets of data are there. That means the scenario will be executed how many times? Three times. If you have 10 sets of data here under this scenario, then this particular test will run 10 times, okay? For such kind of scenarios, for normal scenarios in this Cucumber projects, we use scenario, Gherkin language keyword, but for data-driven test kind of scenarios, in uh, the Cucumber projects, we have to use scenario outline along with the examples keyword where you have to provide the multiple sets of data. This data will be passed to this, uh, you know, this uh, this uh, steps, okay, this uh, less than, greater than kind of things in the steps and uh, the scenario will be running the number of times the data is provided, okay. This is a perfect example, okay. If you can see here, whatever the highlighted area is a perfect example for a scenario using a scenario outline in Cucumber framework or Cucumber projects. Okay, it looks like a sim same like scenario, but uh, it is a data-driven test scenario, guys. Okay, so in normal scenarios will have scenario, whereas uh, data-driven test related scenarios will have scenario outline along with examples keyword to make this possible, data-driven automation testing possible. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.